Howdy everyone, NETV, here with some more Dragon Ball Z, Boo's Fury. Last episode, Vegeta let himself become possessed by Bobby in order to bridge the gap between him and Goku in order for him to fight Goku, and in the process, killed a whole lot of people. And while Goku and Vegeta were fighting, Majin Buu awakened. So, we're here to confront Majin Buu without Goku. Anyways, since we are controlling Majin Vegeta, the game treats it as Vegeta being a Super Saiyan all the time. So, we get the power boost from that, and also the little bit of speed increase that we get from being Super Saiyan, so... We get to enjoy that. But on the subject of Majin Vegeta... I always thought it was interesting that... Vegeta, someone who is full of pride and like someone who as he said before lives like by sh by his own strength i still find it interesting that he let himself become possessed by bobby i mean he was under the control of frieza who was for all intents and purposes much worse than bobby but still like it's interesting that vegeta would let himself be quote-unquote ruled by someone else after after being possessed not possessed them um, after being after being tormented by Frieza for most of his life so it's kind of interesting that Vegeta would willingly go back to being ruled by another kind of I mean he let himself get a hold of that power that comes with being possessed by Bobby but Vegeta is still pretty much his own dude. But, yep, we just need to make it all the way back to Bobby's ship. And this does give us a chance to get a little bit more experience because... I mean... Goku and Gohan, they were getting a lot more experience when we were inside Bobby's ship. So, at least in terms of gameplay, we can separate that gap a little bit. I'm not going to be fighting all the enemies here, just enough to make it through. Not even going to bother with this destroyer here. I'm going to make sure Vegeta at least level ups once, just like that. Perfect. And we have nearly enough money for another Hercule exhibit, because the one in Papaya Island, at least the cheapest one, is 25,000 zenny. The most expensive one there is 50,000 zenny. But yep, we're, we're here at the ship. Kind of. Just need to go in this flight circle. Also, I find it interesting that the Super Saiyan sound is still playing in this cutscene, even though Vegeta's not anywhere near here. But anyways, I'm sorry, Gohan. This is it. It's all over. I was too confident that I could stop Bobby before Boo was revived, but it's too late now. Listen to yourself. We're not dead yet. That's what you think, Boo. Eliminate these two and be quick about it. Boo! Boo make you dead! Finish him, Boo. Aura, you insolent fool, what do you think you're doing? Bobby, I beg you, this Majin Buu creature is far too powerful to be controlled. If he is allowed to reach his full power, it will only be a matter of time before he destroys you. Make the best decision of your life and help me crush him while we can. Deborah, are you insane? Buu is my life's ambition. How dare you harm him? Now I eat you. You turn into cupcake. Turned into... A Deborah shaped cookie in the anime. But with Deborah dead, those two are safe. It's Vegeta! What are you doing here? Are you the one who blew up my spaceship? That's right, it was a little messy, but it was the quickest way to get the job done. But why? I did not order you to do that, you clumsy fool. Do you realize what you've done? How am I supposed to get off of this wretched planet now? 
I assume that disgusting blob there is Majin Buu. He's ugly, isn't he? You say oogly. What means that oogly? It means you have a face that would scare small children. Boo, mad. Pow, pow, pow. And we have our fight against both Boo and Bobbity. We can't really do much to Bobbity. And here is Boo. He has more HP than Deborah. And let's see. An evil creature created by Bibbity many ages ago. Although he is childlike, his extreme power, underdeveloped sense of right and wrong, and rubbery, indestructible body make him a dangerous adverse. Adversary. Adversary. I was about to say adversity, but that, th that wouldn't make sense. Anyways, this is a bit of an interesting fight here. If you try to punch Boo, nothing will happen, and he can also turn into candy. He has a little stretchy punch. Okay, no, that's an energy blast. Also, the candy thing- there's a stretchy punch. The candy thing only lasts for a little bit of time. But anyways, if you try to punch Boo or shoot energy blasts at him, he won't take any damage. So, what you have to do is wait until Bobbity lands, punch Bobbity, and then Boo will be... You'll be able to damage Boo. So, I assume Bobbity's magic is protecting Boo while Bobbity is not hurt. So, yep. Just do that. Rinse and repeat. I think if Boo grabs you while you're a piece of candy, he'll recover some HP, so be careful of that. But this fight really isn't that difficult. It's just figuring out what to do because I had a hard time with this fight as a kid because I didn't realize that you could actually hit Bobbity. Oh, please. This is wasting time. Don't eat me. Okay, maybe that will keep Bobbity stunned a little bit. Okay, never mind. Okay, boo. Now, one thing I would like to note is that it's not really shown here, but Gohan and Supreme Kai, or Supreme Kai, he was attacked by Majin Buu in the anime, and at this point it's not really clear what happened to him, but yeah, that's where, that's what happened, that's why he wasn't here when we arrived. Also, Majin Buu, I... I'm actually a fan of Majin Buu's design. He's, he doesn't really fit like the typical design of a villain. He's just this big chubby pink thing with a cape. Don't know why he has a cape. Actually, I do know why, but yeah. His design was always interesting to me. I liked it a lot. Okay, you are now... You are so getting punched now that Bobby is stunned again and we win Trunks and Goten what are you doing here my dad I have to help him stay where you are you'll just cause Vegeta more pain if you get involved no Trunks wait up no Goten you'll just make things worse let me go. Trunks needs my help. If I were Gohan, you'd let me go. Debatable. Dad, are you okay? Now, while, while we were getting the upper hand on Boo, in the anime, of course, Majin Boo is far stronger than Vegeta here. Is he alive? Of course he is. My mom told me once that my dad was the prince of all of the Saiyans. Wow, your dad is a prince? That's right. And how could a prince lose to some stupid monster? Uh, Trunks. My son. Who are you? I'm the one who's going to make you ride in agony like the worm you are. How dare you speak to me like that? Don't you know who I am? I'll have Boo destroy you. Sure, call your monster so he can watch you die. Wait, don't you realize that if I'm dead, no one will be able to control Boo? He'll destroy everything! Don't you already plan on doing that anyway? So what would the difference be? Goodbye, wizard. Listen, son. I want you to take good care of your mother. Why do you say that? Are you going somewhere? 
I want both of you boys to get away from here. I will fight Boo alone. Don't do that, we'll help you. Yeah, if we all gang up on him, we'll beat him easy. Trunks, you are my only son. I haven't held you since you were a baby, have I? Come here, son. What's wrong, Dad? Why are you acting so weird? Trunks, there's something you need to know. You've made me proud, son. Why did you do that? He's your son. You shouldn't do things like that to your son. He only hit him because he has pent-up aggression towards his father. Boo, big mad. Boo, big mad. Take the two boys as far away from here as you can. Of course. It's time. Hurry. You're going to die. You know that? There's one thing I need to know. Tell me, will I meet that clown Kakarot in the other world? I'm not going to lie to you, Vegeta, although the answer may be difficult to hear. Goku dedicated his life to protecting the lives of others. And he dedicated his life to getting stronger and in the process protect others that were there. But, okay. Because of his selflessness, when he died, he got to keep his body and travel to the Grand Kai's planet. You, on the other hand, when you die, you will not receive the same reward. Oh well, so be it. Get out of here, Piccolo. Hurry. Boo, big bad. Big bad? He is the big bad. You fight, Boone. That's right. You look tasty. I make you chocolate. You're a fool. I'm going to crush you and throw you into the wind. I do this for you, Trunks. Bulma. And yes, even you, Kakarot.